According to a report from TYT's own Candace Cole, the DNC has surprisingly voted yes on a resolution that condemns the use of dark money in the Democratic primaries. So that's some good news. But of course, it has to be said that they stopped short of actually forbidding the use of dark money in the primaries. They are condemning it but still allowing it. So a little bit more on what happened. So Cole's been reporting extensively on the progressive members of the DNC who've been attempting to hold a vote on a dark money ban. However, several attempts at this have already failed. So the idea seemed like it was dead in the water. So here was what the big obstacle was. Our revolution board chair and DNC super delegate Larry Cohen along with other progressive delegates blame Joe Biden's influence over the DNC for the dark money's bans failure to get past the DNC resolutions committee. So they've been trying to advertise him as dark Brandon, apparently that was dark money Brandon. But a little bit more from that reporting. Cohen told TYT that members of the resolutions committee were quote handpicked by the White House with the DNC staff not elected in any normal sense of the word elected. And as TYT reported earlier, the DNC chair Jamie Harrison allegedly said that his job is to protect the president. The DNC has not denied that Harrison said it. Harrison loser, by the way, loser of elections allowed to become the head of the DNC on the basis of losing elections. That's a little insight into the psyche of the Democratic Party. But when you look at the numbers, it becomes abundantly clear why the Democratic Party might not want to take action against dark money. PAC supporting Biden's campaign got 145 million in dark money donations during his run for president in 2020. Campaign finance tracking site OpenSecrets.org reports that PAC supporting other Democratic campaigns got nearly 500 million in dark money during the 2020 election cycle, more than twice the amount that boosted Republicans. Now, it seems like there was no shot of addressing dark money at the DNC's biannual meeting last week. But last month, DNC delegate Jerry Shepard stepped in and introduced her own resolution. Part of Shepard's resolution called for Congress to develop constitutional amendments to overturn the Supreme Court's 2010 Citizens United ruling, which allows corporations and unions to spend unlimited amounts of money on ad campaigns for or against political candidates. Other elements of the resolution would discourage the spending of dark money in Democratic primaries. So surprisingly, Nobody in the DNC's resolution committee objected to holding a vote on this resolution. So on Saturday, the DNC voted to approve this resolution. So this is a meaningful symbolic victory. It's also representative of a big problem within the Democratic Party, which is using the right rhetoric without taking substantive action. So saying we condemn the use of dark money without doing anything to stop the use of dark money. And of course, that's because Shepard's resolution didn't call for a ban on dark money in the primaries. And this is a pattern that we've seen time and time again with the DNC. The DNC did not adopt a resolution last year that calls on Congress to pass the Disclose Act, a bill supported by Biden that would have disclosed dark money's biggest donors. The DNC also pledged its support for rejecting corporate dark money pack donations and barring lobbyists from donating to or fundraising for anyone they lobby. But a separate resolution for the DNC to investigate dark money spending in primaries and impose disciplinary action failed to get a vote during the DNC's summer 2022 and winter 2023 meeting. So Cenk, progress in their rhetoric, not quite progress in actually attempting to tackle this massive issue that is so pervasive because they are the beneficiaries of this massive issue. Yeah, uh, so we have a significant problem in the DNC. <clears throat> and unfortunately, this is a great metaphor for what's wrong with Democratic Party leadership. First, I want to say if you want to read those articles, we'll have the links down below in the description box. And you can go to tyt.com and, and read all the great stories that TYT Reports has about the only people covering <coughs> the dark money, corruption, etc. There's some others out there that do a good job, lever and sludge, but I love that we're covering. Why is this such a great metaphor? Because the DNC here is saying we condemn the thing that we are doing. Did you guys think that through? 
So as Ray Vanna pointed out, Democratic leadership loves to talk a big game and not deliver. So they say, "Oh my God, dark money is so terrible." Yeah, we condemn it, and we totally allow it. Come on in, dark money. You're welcome. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bring in as much dark money as you can. How does that make sense to anybody? And so, the, look, I almost like it's supposed to be good news that that resolution passed condemning it, and I appreciate the wonderful progressives who fought for it and got it passed. But, but you almost like it's too embarrassing to pass. After you already rejected the idea of not using dark money. Now, here comes the most important part. This is not against Republicans. These votes were about Democratic primaries. So the argument of, oh, we can't do unilateral disarmament here against Republicans doesn't hold here. This is only against fellow Democrats. So the DNC is saying that within the Democratic Party, we would rather have more corruption and not less corruption. And we would rather empower the people that are taking those corporate dark money packs and and all the money that they give and we want them to destroy progressives with it because you know they Ray gave you that number about 500 million used by Democrats in primaries recently almost none of it was for progressives so it is a massive advantage that the more corrupt more corporate wing of the Democratic Party has within the party and this is the DSC going yeah we're here for it yeah we don't want fair primaries We don't want fair contests, we want our corporate donors to be able to overwhelm you. And by the way, we condemn ourselves. Okay, a lot of good that did us. So they don't mean it, the progressives within the DNC definitely do. And remember, the Democratic Party is not a monolith. They're awesome progressives within the Democratic Party and soon one day we will take over. And when we do, by the way, we will not be anywhere near as unfair. We won't be unfair at all to the other side. The other side thinks, Well, if we're gonna use our corporate goons and our lobbyists and our special interests, we definitely first wanna use it against progressives and within our own party. So it's a giant celebration of corruption. Keep it real, there is no counter argument. You can, there's a counter argument for general elections. Hey, we can't have the Republicans win. But within Democratic parties, you might as well throw a a party with balloons and and cake, etc. for lobbyists and, 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 Corporate PACs and the and the worst things corrupting our system by saying that you're going to allow it within Democratic parties primaries. No excuse at all. It's 100% validation of corruption. Thanks for watching. If you become a member, you get to watch all this ad free, except for of course this ad. Still, hit the join button below.